Well, it's been a mixed bag. We've had a 3-0 loss to Grenoble. Then we went to well, we went home and uh, beat Troy 3-2. And then went to Amiens and lost 1-0. I'm not so worried about the Amiens loss, given the fact that uh, we they're second in the league. So, you know, they're not a team that we were expected to beat. That, however, does not make me feel very happy about the goal that they scored. I mean, I... I feel at times like I'm playing against teams full of Galacticos. They are pulling off moves that just shouldn't be allowed in the second division of French football. And we've shipped, what, six goals in three games here. You'll see the highlights in a second. But I'll tell you what, pretty much all but one of those goals, I am deeply, deeply unhappy about. Including the third goal for Grenoble in the first game which uh, it was your typical striker on the edge of the area, ball into feet, back to goal, turn, shoot, score. The AI absolutely effing loves scoring those kind of goals. I hate conceding them. I was going absolutely ape shit. It's just as well there's no commentary for any of these games because you would hear me go in blue in the face with my frustrations. Uh, we'll go over to the highlights for those games and uh, I'll meet you back at the match screen for our game today, today, today against Paris FC.
Okay, so here we are. It's Dunkirk versus Paris, and uh, it's a lovely Paris kit, that one. I am a big fan. Let's have a look at the game plan, and uh, I feel like we're going to rip it up immediately because I've been playing a 4 1 2 3 fairly recently. However, I think we're probably going to default back to the, uh, the 4 2 3 1, the defensive 4 2 3 1 that served us fairly well. Uh, in some games in the past, we will make one or two changes to the personnel, though. Uh, Boudaud can play up front. Uh, why is Kebble in my team? No. Fuck off. Harrington in the team. Thank you. That's, it makes some strange decisions here. Uh, let's see, Coagba is left-footed, so really should play on the left-hand side of defence. However, since I moved him there, our defence has been shocking. So, I'm going to go against conventional wisdom. We're going to play a left-footer on the right, and we're going to put, play a right-footer on the left. And uh, maybe at the beginning of next season, uh, we'll try and put that right, if we are, in fact, still stuck here. Uh, you can see the problems that we're up against in terms of the uh, the team cohesion, the heat map on here. Uh, Cisse, Maraval, Kuagba and Sai, the only players that really have any kind of heat whatsoever. Uh, Diara, why are you playing on the left-hand side, my friend? No, I don't think so. Sarnoon can play over on the left. And uh, that pretty much is the bench taken care of for today. Um... Why is Rochato playing in defensive midfield? This is this is mental. Why are so many being players being played out of position? That's absolutely insane. Why have you done that to me? That is fucking stupid. Uh, we're going to lead with Troy Parrott up front because he's had a few games. He scored a few goals for us. And he is apparently our best player. However, we are going to change strips because as much as I like Paris's home strip, it's a home game for us. So we're not going to allow them to have... The benefit of the home kit. Okay, let's kick off, get into the game and hopefully claim some kind of points from this match. Uh, we're only two points away from the fabled 40-point barrier. I think we're going to need more than 40 points to stay up this season because the 17th, sorry, the 18th place team in the league at the moment has 35 points. I don't think that they're going to be stuck on 35 points to the end of the season. So we'll have to do a few things. Do some bits before the end of the season to make sure that we not really stay in the league because uh, relegation isn't a thing in the second division on Pez. That being said, it would be nice if we didn't finish in the bottom three of the league when we're trying to uh, put together a series where we win the Grand Slam of major titles. Put ball into the box. Dealt with by the defence. Gateni's overrun it there. He should have stayed back. I don't know why a defensive midfielder such as Gateni constantly makes so many forward runs. Hannin puts one into the, un into the mixer. And that's an absolutely superb effort. If that had gone in, I would have been furious. But as it is, it's gone past the near post. Spectacular. Goalkeeper, don't think he had it covered, you know. If it was the inside of the post, I think he would have found himself a little bit red in the face. Van Bellahem now to Cissé. Worked out wide towards Sai. He's got support on the wing in the shape of Sarnoon. Sarnoon's going to be picked up quickly, though, because... Apparently, all of our players are slower than all of our rivals. Here's Gutteni. Into the middle for Van Balahem. Looking for Harrington. Nearly finding him. It was a nice idea. Just the execution, not really what it needed to be. And now it's back to Bamba. Kikonda, long ball forward. Cissé should win. He does win, but the second ball is going to fall back to Paris. Kuagba deals with the second ball into the box. Soko keeps it in. And we will build again from the back. Kuagba into Koteni. Looking for Boudaud and finds him. Oh dear, oh dear. Boudaud is far too easily... He's, oh, Alan, there's a chance here. There's a chance here. What is Barrett doing? Why is he slide tackling when I want him to shoot? 
and now he's going to get a yellow card and that shouldn't have happened neither of those things should have happened and I'm furious Parrot's through on goal I press the shoot button yes I have the shoot button mapped to the circle but surely it should be intelligent enough to realise that I want Parrot to try and shoot not tackle a man that isn't in possession of the ball absolutely ridiculous and one of the few chances that we'll have in this game has gone begging because the bloody key mapping on this game is trash Van Balahem to Goteni into Boudaud who manages to no he doesn't manage to keep hold of the ball I was mistaken because once again this game is playing like a pile of shit and do you know what Konami if you're listening fucking good I hope you're pissed off with the things I'm saying about your game because it's absolutely fucking atrocious with players that aren't anywhere near world class level and it shouldn't be this bad it should be difficult but it shouldn't be a fucking lottery as to whether or not the players do what you tell them to do and now here's a chance for Paris we've managed to scoop it out and Balahem oh Jesus Christ okay that's that's my fault that's not the game I'm trying to calm myself down because I've had an absolute belly full today I'm recording this late on a Thursday for a Friday upload I just want to go to bed nobody's going to fucking watch this anyway oh Parrot just win the fucking ball Jihari into Caddy back to Diamante Diakite sorry back to Caddy again Caddy wants more to Hanan looking to try and work the ball into the box if they can here's Janahari back to Hanan nobody near him so he puts one in and Van Balahem just decides he's not going to even try and tackle him what is going on it's a good bit of skill to get us out of our own box but then we're just stuck with absolutely nobody supporting Parrot and we have to end up holding the ball up and it's completely broken down oh come on you can't even pass the ball past the first man and now we've had a foul given against us oh it's been given for us I am fucking surprised and I don't care if I'm swearing because kids shouldn't be watching this anyway and I'm not monetized anyway so who gives a shit oh can't even get past Janahari for God's sake you should be ashamed of yourself, Sissoko. You got legs, run, use them. Cisse into Van Balahem. And Van Balahem hasn't got the pace to get to that one either. It is a fucking penny. It's a crawler of a ball. And that Arab's threw on goal. The goalkeeper's missed it. And Arab's put it into the fucking net. And I don't know if that's poor goalkeeping, poor defending, poor playing or what. But that is absolutely fucking atrocious. Arabs should never be scoring that. Soko in behind, can he make up for his defending? Puts one into the mix, Parrots, and the goalkeeper pulls off what I can only describe as a world class save in the second division of French football. I thought Donnarumma played for PSG, not Paris FC. We're not going to make any changes, we're just going straight into the second half. Can't say allowed long ball forward Kuaka underneath it can't win the header because he never does Sanun goes sliding in mindlessly gets nowhere near the man lets the man run past him can't even defend 
hopeful one into the box. Doesn't come to anything. Maraval throws it out. Dowd heads it to Van Balahem. Harrington has it on the right-hand side now. And he's motoring with the ball. Can he do something with it? Here's Parrott. No, he can't do anything with it. Except win a free kick. We've got a free kick here on the edge of the area. Sarnoon pretty good at taking free kicks. The wall will probably block it. If Sarnoon's good on free kicks, why is Budow taking them? Because he's better, apparently. Well, I don't care if he's better. I'm taking it with Sarnoon. Because I hate myself. And I want to fail badly. Sarnoon into the wall. Goalkeeper takes. And that's the end of that chance. So, there we go. This team is fucking pony. And the sooner I'm taken up by another team, the better. Harrington to Van Balahem. First time pass. Goes nowhere near where it's meant to. Because of course it fucking doesn't. These are professional footballers, ladies and gentlemen. And they can't string together a simple pass. That didn't even go... Oh, my God. I'll tell you what. Just pass it to anyone you feel like. Don't worry about which direction I'm pointing you or who I'm telling you to pass to. Just do whatever you fucking want. I don't even care anymore. Shall I just put down the controller and let you do it for yourselves? Bell out on the right hand side looking to cross the ball in Sarnoon in attendance but I don't know if he's going to be able to defend it he does but he puts it out for throw in Harris 1-0 up 60 minutes gone looking good for the win I think any reasonable neutral viewer would say that they're well worth the three points today as uh, what the fuck was that that was absolutely appalling Van Balahem into Parrot, back to Van Bellahem. He gets past one man, looked to play it inside, but the ball was nicked off his toes because he's useless. Gladbach can't tackle. Arab gets the ball back and gets the ball back again. And I don't know why I'm even bothering trying to defend here because none of my defenders can tackle Werferdam. Gutteni to Van Bellahem. Into Gutteni, no, again, you see, they've just... The passing, absolutely atrocious. And it breaks down immediately. And if you haven't got players that can pass, then you're not going to get very far, are you? Here's Gutteni, into Budaud. He can pass. Parrot, got no support up front. It's Budaud. Into Sarnoon. He's fouled on the edge of the area, but the referee has, of course, ignored it completely. Because fuck you, that's why. Here's Arab. Cissé fouls him. Kouagba takes the ball. Arab gets it back because the referee has recognised the foul because it was on a Paris player and not on a Dunkirk player. If there's anything that we've learned from playing Pez 2021 this year, ladies and gentlemen, it is that you can be fouled until you are black and blue all over. You will never get a free kick unless you are the AI. Hanan. Ball into the box. Coagba underneath. Another bicycle kick and it goes wide again. They deserve nothing more than that. <laughs> Going to have to change things in a minute to make it slightly more attacking because we're getting the ball up to Parrot, but then he's completely isolated. Here's Van Balahem. Looking for Harrington. Can't find him. Gets the ball back though, might have a second chance at this. Balahema over the top looking for Budao. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And somehow Dunkirk have equalised. Well, bugger me sideways. We're level. How the fuck did that happen? Good tenacity from Budel to not give up on it. Squared it for Parrot. And all Parrot had to do was put it into an empty net. Lovely tenacity by Budel. 
Oh, I wonder if maybe if we leave it like this now. Because my suspicion is that Harris might come forward looking for another goal. And if they do, this formation of ours might actually benefit us slightly. Here's Sanun. To Sai. That's a lovely ball into Sai. Lovely ball into the box. Parrot can't do anything with it. But Sanun sees Boudaud. Goes back to Sarnoon. He's not going to get... No, he does get there. Into Sarnoon. He's through on goal. Oh, my goodness me. Dunkirker in dreamland. What a goal by Sarnoon. I shall have to go out and buy a lottery ticket tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Because I feel extremely lucky. Lovely ball into the path of Sarnoon. He dinks it over one defender and then rasps it into the corner. And somehow, somewhere, we found a second goal and we're now 2 0 up against Paris FC. Kilagba tries to head it away but can't get anything on it. It's played out wide to Abdi. His Sai looking to do his defensive duties. Cisse. Gets a foot on it and gets it out wide. It should stay in. No, Kikonda allows it to go out. He knows it's his throw. We're going to make a substitution, actually, because it's 84 minutes gone. We've made no changes whatsoever. And a couple of our players, including the hero Sarnoon, are absolutely on their last legs. They are breathing out their arseholes. So let's throw Rochato on on the left-hand side of the pitch for Sarnoon. That's actually the only real change we need to make. I'm going to throw the big man up top, Chikunte, just because he can hold the ball up a little bit. He's not always shown the strength that you'd expect from a man of his size. Oh, hello. Rochato wins the ball. Into Chikunte. Oh, you see, and he, uh, not happy about that, but that's my fault. Diakite. Abdi back into Diakite. Sai does a good job of winning the ball. Oh dear, I don't know about that pass though. Chukunse looking to spread the play out. Harrington was making a willing run. Couldn't quite get there though. Hanan. Janahari. Chukunse coming all the way back to defend. Oh my god, Laura! Oh, a name like Laura. Did I get that name wrong? I think maybe I must have. Right, all the way up the other end of the pitch, please, sir. Chukunte to win the header. Oh, he does compete for it, but can't get it to head towards any of his teammates. And now Cissé has allowed the man to go past him. Gateni, lovely from Gateni, and that's the final whistle. And somehow, some way, despite me being absolutely furious for the majority of the game, and quite rightly so, Dunkirk have come away 2-1 victors here. And I have no idea how. I'm going to be scratching my head and probably my ass for quite some time trying to figure that one out. After an absolutely disastrous start, that goal by Arab was absolutely... I, I can't explain it. Over the top, he looks like he's offside anyway. It cannons. The, the defender tries to tackle. The goalkeeper then has it knock off of his body, and Arab just side foots it in. It's absolutely bizarre, but it's awful, awful defending and awful goalkeeping. I didn't tell the defender to slide tackle, so I don't know where that tackle came from. But I'm very happy with the result in the end. Sarnoon, man of the match, quite clearly, he deserves it. And let's have a look at what that result and what these results have done to the League 2 table. And it leaves Dunkirk in 13th position on 41 points. The magic barrier has been broken. Amazingly, we're only 27 points off of the league leaders. This is a very, very open season in League 2, it has to be said. Uh, down at the bottom, Grenoble, Newt and Pau still holding up the rest of the teams. Uh, it's uh, a six-point gap now between us and Grenoble. 
And that is after how many? 24, 33 games played. Five games, 15 points left to play for this season, meaning that we could, if by some miracle, all the results went our way, we could finish as high as, what, 56 points, which would be the top three. I don't think that's happening somehow. I'll be happy if we can stay within the top 13. Uh, we could also finish bottom if we were to not lose, if we were to not win a single game at, after this point. And that's very possible with the way this team is playing. I've yet to find a formation I'm truly happy with with this team. I'm also yet to find a first 11 that I'm truly happy with. Defensively, we are all over the place. I think that if we were to stick around with uh, Dunkirk long term, I would be searching for two nasty big bastards to play at the back who can jump and head the ball because it seems like a majority of the time that is the defending that we're having to do and we're failing to do um, that however is probably not going to be our problem because this is a journeyman save it's a glory hunter it's a, a grand slam it's a pentagon challenge whatever you want to call it we are looking to win the five major leagues of france germany italy spain and england and uh, we're nowhere near that at the moment, but we're only in the very beginning of the save. Remember, hopefully we can turn things around and hopefully uh, we'll get a, uh, a job offer from a team who are in a better position to win the Ligue 1 championship. Or maybe we'll move to another country entirely. Anyway, that is going to do it for the week. I'm sure at some point there will be some kind of live stream uh, slash VOD uh, recording of a live stream that comes up of me playing eFootball 2022. Unfortunately, the results are already in from the likes of Spoonie Pizzas. And, um, well, he didn't like it much. In fact, it was so bad that he was in hysterics just looking at how bad it looked. But we'll give it a go. We'll have a look and see what we think of it. And uh, that will be, if not already available, it will be available on the channel over the weekend. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know that one was probably a mixture of difficult to listen to and hilarious to listen to because nothing is funnier than hearing somebody losing their mind over how bad a game is. Um it's not fun. This is not fun. This isn't like when in PES 2020 we played in Brazil and all the players were a little bit iffy and it made for great football. This, this is a challenge. One and a half star, the worst team, one of the worst teams in French football. And uh, the, the signings that we've made so far, some of them have been okay. Some of them not so much so. And uh, yeah, certainly I think that defensive reinforcements are probably needed if we're going to stick with this club anyway that's enough from me um i'll see you guys on monday have a lovely weekend take care bye, -bye.